Let's delve deeper into the captivating narrative of First Kings, where the unfolding drama mirrors the intricacies of a compelling movie plot. At the inception of this biblical tale, David, a stalwart king, sets the majestic scene. However, as the narrative progresses, the reins of power transition to Solomon, a pivotal figure who undertakes the monumental task of erecting the temple. Yet, this golden era takes an ominous turn as Solomon's decisions pave the way for a succession of kings whose moral compass falters, ultimately leading them down the treacherous path of idol worship and estrangement from God. Enter the enigmatic King Ahab, a character of unparalleled malevolence. However, the true orchestrator of darkness lurks behind the throne, the infamous Jezebel, a Phoenician princess turned queen. Her allegiance to the Canaanite godball is a driving force, as highlighted in the poignant verses of 1 Kings 21 verse 25, vividly portraying Ahab's descent into wickedness, largely attributed to Jezebel's insidious influence. Jezebel's nefarious deeds are nothing short of cinematic brilliance, from her attempts to annihilate God's prophets to the Machiavellian plot to claim Naboth's vineyard. She emerges as a master manipulator, pulling the strings to secure power for Ahab. The Vineyard Saga, a pinnacle of manipulation, exposes Jezebel's ability to control events with cunning precision. In moments when Ahab teeters on the brink of repentance, Jezebel ruthlessly extinguishes any glimmer of change. The showdown on Mount Carmel, a riveting sequence, becomes the battleground between the false gods and the Almighty, highlighting the stark contrast between divine power and human folly. Jezebel's vengeful response forces the prophet Elijah into a dramatic escape, adding a thrilling twist to the narrative. The crescendo of the story arrives with Jezebel's demise, a fall from a window, trampling by horses, and ultimate consumption by dogs. Yet, the reverberations of her spirit echo through time, a cautionary tale transcending generations. It serves as a potent reminder to remain vigilant against the manipulative forces that can ensnare us, irrespective of their guise or gender. The moral lesson resounds, be wary of those whose influence may lead us astray. The biblical wisdom in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 rings true, cautioning against aligning with unbelievers, for righteousness and wickedness share no common ground. Jezebel's tale, often erroneously reduced to seduction and promiscuity, reveals a profound truth at its core. The spirit of Jezebel is about control. It urges us to stay vigilant against the insidious forces that seek to manipulate and captivate serving as a timeless beacon of caution for all. Let's delve even deeper into the captivating exploration of the spirit of Jezebel and its profound implications on power dynamics in various aspects of life. As we navigate the intricate landscape of human interactions, it becomes evident that power dynamics and the quest for control often breed the most hurtful and insidious behaviors. This is not just a phenomenon observed on a grand societal scale but is intricately woven into the fabric of our spiritual and personal domains. Consider the dynamics within the sacred walls of the church, a space ostensibly devoted to divine principles. Yet, conflicts simmer beneath the surface, driven by the age-old struggle for control. It manifests in power struggles between pastors and elders, deacons and choirs, or one ministry pitted against another. This pervasive spirit of Jezebel seeks dominion, creating rifts that undermine the unity the church should embody shift the focus to the home, and we uncover another layer of the Jezebelic influence. Marriages, touted as sanctuaries of love and partnership, often become battlegrounds for control. The biblical injunction for husbands to love their wives takes center stage, emphasizing love over manipulation. On the flip side, wives are urged to respect their husbands, not wield control through subtle manipulations. Any attempt to dominate a spouse is a manifestation of the spirit of Jezebel. The wickedness and destructiveness of this spirit become apparent when juxtaposed with our relationship with God. Unlike Jezebel's hunger for control, God's approach is marked by invitation, not coercion. The Almighty doesn't force compliance but beckons us to choose willingly. The paradox of a spirit craving control versus a God offering freedom underscores the profound nature of the conflict. The cautionary tale of Jezebel extends beyond mere control. It serves as a warning against religious hypocrisy. In our contemporary landscape, we encounter individuals who profess piety yet lack a genuine connection with Jesus Christ. These modern-day Pharisees engage in religious rituals, seek elevated positions, and harbor a sense of superiority without the transformative power of Christ in their hearts. Jezebel's blatant disregard for authority echoes in individuals who challenge divine order, much like wolves in sheep's clothing. 
These disruptors question established hierarchies, sow discord in families, churches, and communities, and openly defy God's authority. Identifying and resisting such disruptive forces becomes paramount. The cautionary tale of Ahab and Jezebel also dismantles the illusion that power and status guarantee righteous living. Despite their influence and close association with prophets, their tragic end illustrates the biblical truth that humility precedes true greatness. The paradoxical nature of this truth, as conveyed by Jesus, challenges societal norms and emphasizes a counterintuitive path to a fulfilling life. As the narrative in the Book of Kings unfolds with a seeming absence of resolution, the ultimate resolution is found centuries later in the person of Jesus Christ. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords becomes the focal point, providing hope and redemption that transcend the seemingly endless cycle of evil kings. The indomitable spirit of Jezebel may persist, but the ultimate triumph lies in the spirit of our Almighty God. Armed with the Holy Spirit, we gain discernment to identify the characteristics of Jezebel and navigate the challenges posed by those under its influence. Through prayer and divine guidance, we discover the strength to withstand the cunning tactics of this formidable spirit, ultimately triumphing over darkness and ushering in a realm of light and redemption.